welcome back to Lynn TV. My name is Lynn Bardelski and I am known as the Million Dollar Party Girl. Thanks for tuning in. On today's episode of Dear Million Dollar Party Girl, I'm going to be answering a question from Adrienne Richardson. And she posted and wanted to know, how do you get people to call you back after connecting at a vendor event? My mom always taught me, you never know someone until you walk a mile in their shoes. So sure you had a great connection, but who knows what happened after they left the event. You never know what's going on in someone's life. So don't take it personal. That's my very first tip. Just because somebody is not getting back to you does not mean they don't want your product or service. It just might mean it's not the right time for them. So some quick tips. Number one, when you're reaching out, maybe they're filling out a door prize slip or a lead form or some kind of contact sheet you have when you met them at the vendor event, always ask what is the best way to connect with you. So if you're calling and they, the best way to connect with them is by text, you will never get them to call you back. Find out what's the best way to reach out and use that as your method for contact. Number two, when you give, you always receive. So instead of just calling and talking about your product or service, I always call and say, you know, hey, it's Lombardowski. It was so great to meet you at the event on Saturday. Um, I want you to know I have a free gift for you. I would love for you to try out a sample of our product and let me know what you think about it. Or if you did a special prize drawing, you can actually make everyone a winner. So. A lot of times when you're collecting leads at vendor events, you do a, a raffle or a drawing to get people to enter. So why not connect by saying that they won? Now, maybe they didn't win your grand prize, but there's something that everyone can win. So whether they win a free consultation with you or a download of a, a great tip depending on your product or service or it could actually be a product sample um, that's also a great way to get people to call you back and lastly don't get frustrated you know if you've got a list of people you're working with and they're not getting back to you it's time to put them on the B list for future follow-up down the road so that your current list is kept active with people that are engaged and are ready to purchase. Otherwise, you get a false sense that you're working with all these people when in fact, many of them might be more of a cold or not so warm lead versus a really hot ready to buy now lead. So thanks for tuning in to Lynn TV. We'll be back with another question next week. Thanks.